Hello, and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is Menden, and I'm on the streaming team at Datastacks. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple Pulsar producer with the Pulsar CLI, Python, and Java. If you want to follow along, and you don't have a deployment of Pulsar ready to go, go to astra.datastacks.com slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running in under a minute. If you have any questions about today's video, or anything related to Pulsar, you can email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will reach the team at Datastacks that is responsible for Pulsar, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. A producer written in the Pulsar CLI looks something like this. If this looks scary, we can just break it down into parts. This producer will produce 10 hello world messages to my topic one at this persistent URL and close. The topic lives inside the default namespace of the my tenant one tenant. To try out this producer, I'll start a Java consumer in the background, which will subscribe to test subscription and constantly consume messages from my topic one. For more on consumers, see my five map video about consumers. All you really need to know here is this consumer will consume any message sent to my topic one. If you want to use this consumer, it's available in the datastack slash pulsar examples repo. When I run my pulsar CLI producer, the same one from the title card, it produces 10 messages to my topic one. We can confirm 10 messages were produced down here. Now if I head back over to my consumer, I can see that sure enough, it's beginning to consume the hello world messages. Now I'm going to open a producer written in Python. It will connect to the persistent URL with an auth key and produce 10 hello world messages with a message number added to the end to my topic one. When I run the Python producer and check back on the consumer, I can see that once the consumer has finished consuming the messages from the CLI producer, it begins consuming the messages from the Python producer with the message numbers added to the end. Over in the Astra streaming UI, I can check the traffic of my topic one see connected producers and consumers, and also available subscriptions. I can also see the schema of the messages being received. Over in the Try Me tab, I can make a producer and send my own message to my topic one. Now I'll check back over on my consumer, and sure enough, the message produced in the Try Me tab of the Astra Streaming UI has been consumed. Finally, let's produce a Pulsar message with a Java producer. This producer will create a client object, populate auth and connect info with values from the application.properties configuration file, and continuously produce messages with this JSON object to my topic one. The producer begins producing messages, and those messages are then consumed by the consumer attached to test subscription at my topic one. Over in the topics tab of the Astra streaming UI, I can see my producer and consumer are connected to my cluster and continuously producing and consuming messages. I can see the subscriptions attached to my topic one and I can see the schema declared in the message. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. That will make it easier for other people to find this video and help get more people using Pulsar. Thanks again for watching this video and have a great day.